Do you respect Putin? I do respect him. Do you? Why? I, well, I respect a lot of people, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get along with him. He's a leader of his country. Uh, I say it's better to get along with Russia than not. And if Russia helps us in the fight against ISIS, which is a major fight, and Islamic terrorism all over the world, right. major fight, that's a good thing. Will I get along with him? I have no idea. It's He's very a possible killer, I though. Won't. Putin's a killer. A lot of killers. You get a lot of killers. Why, well, you think our country's so innocent? Hmm. Even Republicans are perplexed, and some of them condemn those comments. Why do you think the president continues to, to praise Putin? I think that um, I know this, this stirs up a lot of uh, intrigue for people about Trump and Russia because we've heard this throughout the campaign. If you look back uh, at the last several years, if you go back, frankly, to 1990, a Playboy interview that Donald Trump gave then as a businessman three years after uh, putting out The Art of the Deal, uh, his first book, he has sort of consistently had uh, words that are just purely strength weakness. That is how he views the lens through which he views the world. And he had this history in the campaign of praising uh, people who are typically described as strongmen or dictators. Uh, you know, he described uh, Saddam Hussein as, you know, a bad person, but he also was really good at killing terrorists, according to Trump. In fact, Hussein uh, was against jihadists, but he also was considered a state sponsor of uh, terrorism against Israel. Uh, he said that things were better with Gaddafi uh, in charge. Uh, you know, he had was sort of impressed with Kim Jong-un uh, in terms of his rise to power. So this happened over and over again, and he praised the Chinese for the Tiananmen Square massacre in terms of showing strength. Um, These are all authoritarian was a, this was, Right, and so this, there, this is consistent, and also what you have seen with him in terms of his, his sort of personal uh, criticism or delegitimizing criticism of a federal judge uh, in the last couple of days, Judge Robart, in this uh, executive order decision, Trump has consistently uh, criticized judges. He has been involved in many, many lawsuits. I think that what you are seeing is somebody who has not necessarily, the presidency has not changed Trump uh, so far. No. It might change him at some point, but so far we are very much seeing the same person he has been for a very long time. And, and I agree with David that I think that there are a lot of people who, when they see him and interact with him socially, they find him charming.